Park, Night Train Lane, and Prime Time are the guys that make it go. Yeah, and that tip drill is not activated for Night Train Lane. This Jordan Reed is a phenomenal item. It, he will line him up at wide receiver. He has a 96 route running, so he can get open against some of the best corners. Randy Moss with no playmaker, the McNabb with the gunslinger, and he also has that Ricky Williams that you didn't see there that has the battle-ready active, which allows him to easily win a lot of those tackle battle situations. Both these guys averaging over 35 points a game. Let's take a look at our scouting report brought to you by our good friends at Xbox. For Skimbo, we have stopped the run. I was fortunate enough to spend some time with young Kiv last night, who was eliminated yesterday by Spot Me Please. He said the number one thing you need to look out for in Spot Me is that run game. He catches you off guard with it, and he ran all over Kiv with it, and that's what advanced him here to the Final Four. I'm sure Skimbo watched that tape and prepared for that, but he's going to need to execute and stop that Ricky Williams with the battle ready. On the other side, what does Spot Me Please have to do against Skimbo? I really believe he needs to find a way to make Skimbo uncomfortable. Maybe find something new into your game plan. You know Skimbo watched the tape of your last several games all night last night. You're not going to be able to catch him off guard. And the problem with that is nobody has better execution that we've seen thus far other than Mike Skimbo. You're going to have to mess up with mess with that execution. And the way to do that is make him uncomfortable by catching him with something special. It's the preparation of Skimbo, number one player in the world against the variety offense and defense of Spot Me Please. And Skimbo will kick off to the man from West Virginia. Spot me, please. We'll have it first. And it's final four time, Coltrane. The Madden Championship. The season's almost over. Three games away. And then th this is the first of those three. Yeah, first of the semifinals. We got joke and problem coming up next. First and ten. Opening drive of the day. And Ricky Williams picks up three. Skimbo was practicing with Volterex against this very formation earlier on the main stage. But when he was practicing against that dive, he was shooting the gap and hit sticking it. So not the greatest execution from Skim. And there's a sack. He'll lose six. So that'll make it third and 13 already behind the chains. Wow, good defense. You know, spot me please was only sacked four times in the group stages. That was a big one he gave up there. Finds himself in the third and 13. You got to watch those corner routes from the slot receivers. Quick throw. I need it. Come on, man. There's some emotion. Had the number one seed. Come on, one stop. <laughs> Here comes the unicorn in Madden. Nope, not happening. He's oh going for it. Here we go. Oh, it's getting grizzly early, Scott. Fourth and 13. Spot me. Throws and overthrows Randy Moss and gives Skimbo the ball at the 21. Wow, an aggressive play call. Fourth and 13 backed up in your own red zone and you go for it. Tons of momentum right there for Mike Skim. Just outside the red zone. Ball at the 21. Rodgers. A little delayed slant to Ocho, and he'll move it to the 17, second to five. That was a good tackle by Spot Me. Good read by Skim right there as well. Waited for that slant to develop and get open. Throws it to the end zone, and Chad Johnson. Bluff blitz. That's a bluff blitz. I'm just going to streak him next time. Wow. Look at the maestro. He's calling out the adjustment that Spot Me Please made. We said, you got to confuse Skimbo, no make him uncomfortable. Man man. There's no way that's man to man. And Skimbo's already dissected his defense, saying, you bluff Blitzen, I'm going to send a streak next time up the seam and hit you with it. He's like the Matrix the way he <laughs> sees the game. Is he the one? We'll see. He's made it to the championship many times. Has never won the belt. But this man right here, spot me please, from West Virginia. His he, wife and his son tuning in. Happy Mother's Day to her. Yeah, absolutely. This is a big drive right here for spot me please. And Ricky will spin to the 38. Second and seven. 
you feel like you need to answer, at least put together a good drive. Yeah, and you got to get that fourth and 13 out of your head. You started this game off by giving Skimbo a ton of momentum. The way you respond by that is you punch Skimbo on the mount in the mouth in this drive, and you go and you get yourself six and put the pressure right back on him. Randy Moss, have you met? Landon Collins, big time hit on second down, third and two. Look at Skimbo making adjustments on defense. Man, are those fingers flying. Needs two yards to pick up the first down. Goes to Ricky. Ricky, nice little stick work. And that'll move the chains at the 49. Gets a first down. Getting the drive going. Maybe he's breathing a little bit easier. Mixing up the run, mixing up the pass. A lot of adjustments for both these players. First and 10, right near midfield. Spot me, please, trailing by a touchdown. Rolling left. And McNabb will take off. And gets to the 42-yard line. Second and one. It's a good decision by Spot Me. And he's just in this jumbo formation. A lot of players haven't seen this, for, had to deal with this formation yet this year. This was a meta changer for Spot Me. He came to this tournament. Everyone thought he was a one trick pony with that gun bunch tight end offense. And he came here with a whole new arsenal of plays. And he's been reaping the benefits of that so far in this tournament. Bunch to the right, Johnson to the left. First and 10 at the 37. McNabb. Throws it up and has a man. And it's Randy Moss at the nine. Big play right there by Spot. He wish he got a little more mustard on this pass, though. Could have had a touchdown. Yeah. Mike Evans able to make a big tackle. McNabb under pressure, plus rolling to the right. Not able to put it out there, as you said. Goes to Ricky Williams on first down, and he'll pick up one. Second and goal from the eight. Things get stingy down here. You like to call it the dead zone. Yeah. Seen a lot of people struggle in this area of the field. To be honest, those like Skimbo that are able to score down here have had great success. Those that come down here and kick field goals go home. Yeah, we've seen that a lot throughout this tournament. You're not lying. A minute 20 to go in the first. Ricky on a little bit of base, and Ricky will get in the end zone. And there goes Ricky, and we told you, if you might skim, the key to this game is you need to stop the run. You can't let Ricky run, run, run. And he put a lot of work in on that drive. A deep pass to Moss, a couple of good runs from Williams, and we got ourselves a ball game. Tied 7-7 now. Look at it again. Ricky Williams doesn't stop moving those feet. <clears throat> it's a big drive right there by Spot Me. And see how Skimbo responds on offense. And Ricky, well, he'll mishandle it, and Jimmy Graham will run out. He's got some good folks here on a Mother's Day. You see Problem out there ready to go. Little man Dubby strafens out there. I see Mo and Misery as well, and of course some good supporters. Looking on on this one and ready for the next game. Joke and Problem right after this one. And of course tonight we're on the NFL Network. 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Throws it up. And that was a good throw away right there from Skim. Avoided the sack, didn't force it into coverage, and he's willing to do that. He doesn't force passes, and that's a big key to his success. Second and 10. Finds Jimmy Graham, and Graham is pushed out of bounds at the 30. And you got, still got plenty of time. If, if you're anywhere in driving radius from Burbank, California, we'd love to have you RSVP come down for the final. And throws this uh -oh. one away, and here's a big fourth down, RG. Uh-oh. And now Skim finds himself in his own fourth down situation in his own territory. Let's see if Spot Me can give him a little bit of payback for that open and drive. Big down right here, Cole. Fourth and five. Biggest down of the game thus far for Skimbo. You gotta watch this motion out slant. Rodgers. Up the seam. Wow. Boy, that went right through Bosa's hands. Falls to the ground. 
That is a money adjustment by Spot Me, please. He took away the slant user, dropped Boza straight back to the middle of the field to account for the post route. He knew what's coming. Fantastic defense by Spot Me, and way to get your momentum back. And Ricky Williams will run off 14, and he's in the red zone. Run, Ricky, run. This is going to be key to the success of Spot Me, please. Like Young Kiv said, you go in playing Spot Me, you expect them to be slanging the rock all over the place. But no, he came here to the Madden Championship with a new developed game plan. And best believe a big part of that game plan is that Ricky Williams with the battle-ready ability. He's top five rushing offense in the field of 32. And he can get it done in the red zone as well. Eight touchdown rushes for Spot Me Please. And he's got a chance to take the lead here in the waning seconds of the first quarter of semifinal number one. A good play by Mike Evans there. And that's how the quarter will end. Here on semifinal Sunday. Not so bad. 7-7. <laughs> seven, seven. I think we I think we got what we thought we'd see. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. We've been waiting all year for this day. It all comes down to the, today, Coltrane, where we're going to crown our Madden 17 champion, and one of these two phenomenal players will be in that final game. Big third and seven, split backs. Throws it to the back of the end zone. Might be, and it is picked off at the two-yard line. Mark. The former Crimson Tide picks it off. And that's one of those problems with the high pass in the end zone is there's a lot of defenders in that vicinity because there's not that much nowhere else for them to be. It's, you know, you're in the red zone. Tip so, yeah, we see, a, we see a lot of tipped interceptions in that area of the field. Got him. Got him. Wide open is Moss. And he gets out of his... Own end zone on a 47-yard strike. And what a call by Skim. You're backed up in your end zone. You're feeling the pressure, and then you hit him with a dot to get yourself to the 50. Way to respond after getting the turnover. So first and 10. Momentum swing here. Spot me at least would have had a field goal. And he has. No. You heard him say barbecue chicken, but barbecue chicken is very greasy. Did you say and it's hard to hold chicken? on the ball? That's what he said. I like barbecue chicken. Of course. Let's be honest here. <laughs> if you don't like barbecue chicken, don't at me. 7-7. Seven, seven. Rogers. That's Jimmy Graham. Oh, gosh. Are you okay, Jimmy? Jimmy, are you okay? That's what I was thinking. He got clapped on that one. He just got hit by a smooth criminal. Now here's the thing. Skimbo should have had that big pass to Randy Moss. Didn't execute it. That could be really frustrating, Coltrane. Third and 10. Needs to respond. Rodgers swings it outside. Jimmy Graham and that will make it fourth and five. And here we go. Now we got ourselves a fourth down for the man from Claremore, Oklahoma. The one that put Claremore, Oklahoma on the map as far as I'm concerned, Mike Skim. But if anyone has a fourth and five dot cooked up, you know it's gonna be him, Coltrane. If you're just tuning in here on a Sunday afternoon, this is semifinal number one. Number one player in the world, Skimbo, and Spot Me, who's ranked number seven, are knotted up at a touchdown apiece. Big fourth down. Uh -oh. Skimbo finds Moss. First down and a little more. Wow. What poise. No pressure. You got to get pressure on Skim on fourth down. Or he's just going to carve you up. You see him roll out away, set his feet, wait for the receiver to get in get open mode, and then a big play to Randy Moss, the legend. First and 10 from the 16. And there's a timeout by Michael Skimbo. The preparation of Skimbo is insane. He was in his hotel room watching tape all night long. And guess who were the first two players here in the players' lounge today? It was Skimbo and Folterex here, bright and early, getting ready for that man. Spot me, please. Iron chopper and iron. Slings it outside to Jimmy Graham. And Graham reaches for that first down, but he's going to be just shy, second and two. And this is where we see 
skim flourish. He has been phenomenal in the red zone all year long. He pretty much set the meta in the red zone with that verticals play. Let's see if he can execute. He's going to call a timeout here. Came out in a goal line formation. He's going to think about it. Semifinal number two coming up at the conclusion of this one. Number 24 joke will face number five problem. Winner in the finals at nine o'clock Eastern tonight. That's going to be a crazy matchup. Second and two. And he hands off to Ricky Williams in a big time hit. Spot me, please. Taking some aggression out on Ricky Williams right there. Looking to force a fumble. Look at the focus, Taylor Robertson. Not messing around. That's Derek Shelby. Third and two, watch the wheel route on the outside. And he'll hand it off. And Ricky will get to the four and pick up the first down. I think Spot me saw what you saw. Started bailing out a little bit with those linebackers. Saying you know, Ricky Williams takes it for the first down. Yeah, that's a good play call by Skim. You know when he motions that flanker wide receiver to the outside, you need to respect it because that he's seen him score time and time again with that wheel route. Skimbo smartly just hands it off to Ricky, gets the first down. And hands to Ricky again, and he'll score. Those safeties are just too wide, and Ricky Williams takes it up the gut. It's because Spot me's respecting that passing game of Skimbo on the goal line. And that's just great. You kind of know what he's going to do, but you don't know what are the three or four things that he likes to do. He's going to call. And Skimbo, a master at calling the right play at the right time. And there's a reason this guy is the number one seed. Huge block by the right guard. Matt Tobin was pulling around and freed Ricky Williams for a touchdown. Seven point lead. Spot me, please. He's got 231 to answer. He needs to answer because remember he got the ball first and Skimbo stopped him. Skimbo has the lead getting the ball at halftime. If you spot me, you do not want to go into the second half down to Skimbo already and giving him the ball. That's a good point, RG. One timeout for Skimbo, three for spot me, please. And after that gain of one, we'll see if he takes it to the two-minute warning. Boy, is he really running the ball? If they don't believe us. Coltrane about how much he's incorporated the run. You said he's number six since group play and running the ball. Yep. Rush attempts per game. And there's a high point. And Antonio Gates. Take a look at it again. Last time he had the ball, gave away some points and gave away the ball. Tip drill. As what I was saying, Scott, is he's six now in groups and rush attempts per yep. game. But on the ladder, Amongst all 32 of our competitors, he was 24th in rush attempts per game. So you can see he has blatantly changed the game plan for this Madden championship. That's been a theme for all our competitors. When you get to the live event, you just run it a bit more. And there goes Jordan Reed. It's a crispy dot for six. And we told you at the top five that you would see that Jordan Reed at wide receiver. What a lot of players in this tournament did, Scott, is they get three wide receivers and one tight end so they could run that 11 personnel. Look at Jordan Reed at the receiver spot, gets open on the corner route and has the wheels. What Spot Me did instead of three wide receivers, one tight end, is he took two wide receivers and two tight ends. One of those tight ends being Jordan Reed, who he can put at receiver. So that allows him to run the 11 and the 12 personnel whenever he wants. He's probably look at it again, missed tackle, and then it's off to the races. That's a big play. Well, plenty of time left for Skimbo. He does have a timeout with 148 before the half. He does get the ball, as you said, RG, to start half number two. Throws it away. Clock stops, 142 to go, second and 10. Yeah, the, the two tight ends that spot me has, the Jordan Reed and Antonio Gates. He's okay. used both of them it's, thus far. It's very smart. If I was playing, that's what I would do. I wouldn't want to limit myself to that 11 personnel. You find a tight end that's versatile enough to play wide receiver, and that's what's allowing spot me to run some of those big packages with the two tight ends. Very smart. Second and ten. Moss motions to the left. Rodgers will go that way. First down. Michael Skimbo. So schematic. It's just so admirable. We pay homage to Problem being the GOAT. 
But we're still trying to find out if he's one of the, the best Madden players in the world right now. We know he's the greatest of all time. These for sure are two of the top players right now, Scott, for the last two years. They are up and comers that are gonna be forces to deal with and Skimmy. Moss pulls it in at the 19. And Skimbo's in the red zone with 93 seconds to go. And he told you, I seen you bluff blitz. I'm going to send him on a streak next time. And look at Moss streaking down the field for a big play right in the spot me territory. Nobody can slow down this man, Michael Skimbo. The safety, Polly Kraus, could not get over there. First and 10. Plenty of time. And he throws an interception. Oh. And it's a user pick by Eubanks. That's the same play that Spot Me made against Strafen to eliminate him. Oh my goodness. Yes, you're right, Coltrane. It is you, Banks, again. That's the play, the same guy that got the Ento against Strafen. And Spot Me gets himself his own interception on the goal line. Anything you can do, Skim, I can do better. Spins away. That's Ricky Williams will gain one. Worst case scenario here for Spot Me, please. It needs to be tied at halftime. Yes. You cannot turn the ball over here and give Skim points. You need to take advantage of this turnover, try to go get yourself points, but under no circumstances could you al allow this to turn into points for Skimbo. Has time, has room. He's going to run. And he'll score. slide down. 60 seconds. He has three timeouts. Yeah, he's got time here. If you're Skimbo, you need to get on the defense because Spotney's moving. I like how he's using that mobility of McNabb, too. He's run the ball 13 times, passed at seven. Play 21 for Spotney. Big. You heard him. Scream team. Nine yard play. loss. That's two huge sacks that Spotney has taken in this one. He's not calling the timeouts. He's letting the clock run up there. And I think that's because he's worried that he can't get the ball down the field. He doesn't want to get stopped and leave Skim any time to make anything happen because Skim only has one timeout left. So third and nine. Spotman will use his first timeout. Here we go. Flex it up in the gun. And Ricky Williams. Well, you guys have already met. Landon Collins. And Skimbo plays those safeties at corner sometimes. So when they play that cloud flat position, when they got to rally down to the underneath stuff, you have guys that can knock your block off. Landon Collins, one of those guys. The loss of nine on first down, Adam behind the chains, and he's going to punt it on fourth and five. And he will punt this one out of bounds. 15 seconds. Well, he labs with Volterex. Could we see the swerve? That's what I was just thinking. He has been labbing that swerve with Volterex. If you spot me, you need to be aware of that and prepared for it. You got to watch Moss. It's going to be a lob swerve deep down the sideline. There he is. And Moss will pick it up. Clock moving. It's not going to have time. Seven seconds. Six, five. We have time. Three now. Stop it. And he gets a playoff. He's got to go to the end zone. Throws it up for Moss, oh, and no. Oh, my God, I got it. <laughs> Look at Skim trying to capitalize. We even with one second left, as Gibbs would say, he's diabolical. Take a look at it again. The final play of the half. It is a bomb. What a bomb, right? Aaron Rodgers. And a great swat there by TJ Green on the back end. Keeps it a 14-14 game, and Spot Me got down, but he battled back and was able to tie it up at the half. And I wouldn't expect anything less, especially when you're dealing with two competitors that are this high level. This second half is going to be a treat, Coltrane. This is an honor to be here. Looking forward to it. Tied at half. Let's go to Dave and the guys. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Really solid first half to kick off our semifinals here. Rico, we saw two big turnovers down by the goal line for both players. Absolutely. We saw that tip drill come into play. Yeah. But I want to talk about this beginning of the game. Skimbo got that stop and then went down and scored. Everybody in the audience was like, uh-oh, is Skimbo going to run away with this one? Then Spot Me Please showed why he was our Madden Classic champion. He battled back, fought back, and this game can go either way in the second half. Yeah, this was a half of big, big plays. There was long passes downfield, but also the turnovers. They're a little bit uncharacteristic. When we get into the highlights, so you're going to see some of those plays that kind of kept this one close. 
early, going for it on fourth down, very aggressive here in the final four of the Madden Championship. Then going out to the corner to the sideline, boom, touchdown. Then day, down the middle, the pick tipped. We've got a raucous going on here. That's little man you hear in the background just being completely obnoxious. He doesn't even know that joke's not playing. I don't know <laughs> how nuts he's going or why or where or who, but that's what's happening here today. This is the emotion that's on at stake in this championship. Big plays before half, tied it up, and that's where we stand. Little man is still capping at Skimbo as we do our he halftime is segment. That's li dedication he's literally, right there. He's all caps. He's here's, <laughs> here's the best part. They have music. Little man, and white big noise, energy. And noise cancellation uh, headphones. What else That's, can we do? That doesn't matter to Little Man. He is going to be talking. Let's talk a little bit about Spot Me, please. We, we saw a little bit more from Skimbo before this game. Let's find out a little bit more about the man from Ballard, West Virginia. Growing up, I was a huge football fan, and naturally, Madden comes with that. I've always been a competitor, and this is a way to compete on a daily basis online at these live events. I've always wanted to be considered one of the best Madden players. What I've done this year can help go towards that, and this tournament can only make it go further. The problem here for the rest of the field is once this kid starts rolling, he could be one of the hardest players in the country to stop on offense. He has a man, and Chad Johnson will take Ready? it. The way! My son Reed was born about three to four weeks before last year's Madden Championship. And after he was born, my wife and I had a difficult decision to make whether I should compete or not. We actually ended up deciding for me to compete, knowing the money that was on the line and the growth that Madden has seen. And I think we made the right decision. Oh my goodness, if this was Vegas, I would throw the house on Spot <laughs> Me Please right now. Going for two titles is pretty special in itself in the same year. I'm not sure if that's ever been done before, but hopefully I can make that happen this time around. This is the biggest event, and this is the one I want to win. One of the classiest guys in all of Madden. Farrells, what's the most impressive thing to you about Spot Me? He does it in Draft Champions, his first title, but he also does it in Salary Cap Ranked. He does it with a vast playbook, calling different stuff. And the one thing that no one has ever said is a bad word about Spot Me, please. To me, that's the most interesting thing. No doubt about it. Want to remind everybody who is watching at home that championship packs are available now. Each pack contains a championship player from a winning EA Major roster. Collect these championship players to earn one of three 99 overall champions players designed by EA Major winners. A reminder, this is the first match that we have. The next one coming up, problem against joke. Social media poll is a little bit lopsided. I think it's going to be a better game than that. But for right now, we actually tonight are going to be on the NFL Network. We're going to be on television, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. That is going to be your final. But for right now, Drea is with Spot Me. Thanks so much, Dave. Spot Me, you're in a dogfight. You had a huge pick to close out the second. What was the key to being active in the passing windows there? Uh, well, just trying to stay active with my user, staying in his passing lanes, like you said. Mm -hmm. He's a good player. He normally makes a bad read, or makes a good read. I think he made a bad one there, so maybe that built me out. Well, you have the momentum now. How do you capitalize on that and build on that in the second half and pull away for the victory? I just got to come out and get a stop and uh, put some drive together. All right, well, best of luck. All right, thanks. All right, let's send it to Scott and RG. Thanks, Drea. Second half coming your way. We're tied, so we've actually gained nothing here. Ten minutes, nothing's been decided, but I got a feeling here in the final ten, one of these guys might separate. Yeah, we can gain some entertainment first. Yeah, of all, I'm, I'm that, cool that with that. That was a great first half. Just because it was a little bit defensive, I'm going to be interested to see in this second half who is going to be able to get the stops. They've now felt each other out. You know, you kind of got to throw those first couple of punches, and it's going to be getting that stop going forward is going to be huge because I expect both of these guys' offenses to be on fire in the second half now that they've felt out the defense. Well, Skimbo's been a second half player. You saw him struggle against Little Man in that match. It was 10 to 6. Little Man actually had the lead, and then Skimbo blew him out. Yeah, Skimbo, we know he can get it done. He never loses in these final fours or these final eights usually. It's a he's a championship type of guy where he always makes the finals. Problem is, spot me please is not sweet. And he is in full cap he has all the capabilities to pull away with this one in the second half as well. And one thing I do want to call out, Scott, is this game right here, the winner of this game, with it being a $35,000 game, would have cleared $100,000 for the year 
and Madden winning. Skimbo currently sitting at $89,000 in Madden earnings for this year, with Spot Me sitting at $70,000. Winner of this clears $100,000 for the year. Do you know why Skimbo wears basketball shorts instead of jeans? Comfortability? No belt. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. But he gets a big by. bomb they there to start the, the half. They think that's the That'll lead. shut me up down to the 24. You're a savage. Good play. That's big. Come right out of the locker room and hit a bomb to Moss, who's already got 210 yards on six receptions. And we have a good relationship with these players. I was talking to Skimbo while he was headed back to the hotel, and he's like, man, that's a, that's a big break between the semifinals and finals. I said, yeah, I don't know if you want to hang around and watch Spot Me play. <laughs> so we got a good relationship with these guys. Both of these guys, absolute gentlemen. And they move it to the 10-yard line and a little break dance by Ocho. Ah, oh, man. Old train, the, the professional shade throw. I don't know to trust <laughs> it, man. We run cover four. Talking to himself. Constant. Chess match when you're playing that dollar comes you got to watch this and then you got to watch Graham right here Spot me, please mixes up his coverages and a good Right on it with that wheel route We were waiting to see when he pulled it out and this time he does Yeah, and Moss usually comes down with that in single coverage and one thing that worries me about spot me's team is he has a deflate of the he has not many good players in his secondary, Coltrane. I'll, I'll break it down after. Yeah, that was Maurice Alexander, most feared gold 80 on the deflection. This time, Moss has it knocked away. TJ Green came over. Yeah, the point I wanted to make is Skimble has this high-powered offense, but the only good defenders in Spot Me secondary that are over 90 overall are Deion Sanders and Night Train Lane. Everyone else is a tank player player and keep looting the crowd and there is Demarius Thomas the emotion look Rogers at the emotion with a pretty plat pass to Skimbo and he strikes first here in the second half did, did you see ah, how he was, up he was? He Good looked, play, at, dude. looked at Good Dubby play. pointed at him you could tell this is the lab work that he's put in with Dubby last night and that's one thing that's interesting about this tournament, Scott, is we started with the 32 best players in the world, but as they start them, they started getting knocked out of the tournament, the players that got knocked out started choosing sides with the players that they wanted to practice with. Dion takes it out to the 32. Look at this again, and Anthony Barr could click on him and make a play right over the head of the goon. That's a good read. So last night, Skimbo practicing with Dubby, but then spot me, was in his room practicing with Holly and Strafen. Yeah, both those guys got a couple Subway sandwiches and hit the lab. That's, we saw that a lot last night. The players were kind of convene in the lobby every now and then, say something to each other, and then all <laughs> break their separate ways and go practice for the game. Second and six. And there is McNabb, and he finds Chad Johnson down to the 26. What a way to answer back if you're spot. Skim puts the biblical drive together. You come through, you get vintage. Now you got Skim's back back against the ropes. Up under center again. McNabb, quick throw, has a man. That's Moss. And now he's got the ball at the three-yard line. Boy, this is going to be a huge... Red zone opportunity for that man right there. Man, just a whole bunch of dots for Spot Me right now. Walking up this field. And Ricky will pick up one. 13 carries for 51 yards. Skimbo doing a good job bottling up the running game. Yeah, but we saw Spot Me already pound one in with Ricky. Ricky's been known to fight on this goal line. Skimbo's got goons in the box though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine goons. And goes to Ricky Williams, and he will be denied. Skimbo needs to hold the door. Yeah, that's what we call this. If you're a Game of Thrones fan, we say this is where you hold the door. This is the door right here. This line, you got to hold it. 
Third and goal. And Ricky Williams won't get there. And the door is shut on Spot Me Please. Hold on. What do you do here, RG? Hold on. He's thinking about it. This is it. And he's going for it. Now if you're skin, this is where you really need to hold this door. You can get all kinds of momentum. They'll go to the air, quick throw, and Chad Johnson Whoa! won't get there. You don't go to watch the Game of Thrones to see someone hold the door, Scott. Mike Skimbo stays stingy on the goal line, gets the momentum, and we talked about it. It was going to be who could get a stop in the second half. Skimbo's got it. He was expecting Antonio Gates to flare a little bit on that low pass. Had to come back for it. And that was the yard he needed. Game of inches. Wow. He's going to take a timeout. That was huge for Mike Skim. Take a look at it one more time. You can see he throws it low, and he's got to come Evans. back to it. And look at him click on to Mike Evans, put his life on the line, dive with the Grizzly, make moves, get the stop. Skim's on fire. Last time he was in his end zone, he threw a 50-yard bomb. And that one's 40. Oh, my goodness. That's, He's a man. 40 yards. And he had two people open underneath, and he still went up to Moss. What happened with both the Rex will do that to you, huh? Swerbot and Gage. Volt somewhere in the crowd looking like a proud papa. First and 10. Quick throw, Jimmy Graham. Pick up three yards. And if I'm skim right now, I'm taking a look at the clock, and I'm going to start killing this thing, try to get down to the fourth quarter, go and get myself at least three points and be in the fourth quarter up two possessions. If you can put together a 99-yard drive, you'll go up two scores, and that will be another red zone turnover for Spot Me Please. Threw an interception and then got stopped on four downs. Yeah. That's points. That's six points right there you could have had at yeah. the very least. It's probably going to need those points right now. That's for sure. I love how Skim throws the ball away. If you're at home, keep a tally at how often he'll throw the ball away rather than force a pass into coverage. It's one of the things that makes him such a world-class player. 30 plays. He's thrown it 27 times. Rodgers. Wide open B. B is open over the middle. We both saw it. And that's what he does. You know Z spots coming. You know that post route's gonna get open over the middle, but you see, you gotta respect the underneath slant route because you know he'll throw that as well. And this we said spot me secondary is suspect. You see Paul Krause there, but that's the gold 84 version of Paul Krause, not yeah. the elite. He only has two elites in that secondary. Skimbo looking to exploit that. 15 seconds to go in the quarter. Rogers. Skimbo trying to make it a two possession game. And Jimmy Graham, he's a security blanket. Kick, he's always there. Set. Throw up your fours. <laughs> Semifinal number one is going to the fourth quarter. And the number one seed, Skimbo, with a touchdown lead over Spot Me. Joke and problem is up next. Oh, my goodness. What a way to wrap up the Madden 17 season, Coltrane. And if it's this phenomenal this year, I can only imagine how crazy EA's competitive game is going to be next season. I already can't wait. Skimbo is closing in on 400 yards passing. That's young Kib numbers. And he throws it away. He's right on the door of the red zone. Smack dab at the 20. And I like that pass on second and one. In Skimbo's mind, he has two downs here to get one yard. But you don't want to sniff a fourth down if you're Skim. You need to pick up this first down right here. Bunch to the left this time. Thomas Solo to the right. Go to the air. To the corner. And there is Demarius Thomas for his second touchdown of the game. And Skimbo. Is about to be up 14. Huge swing in momentum. I love his celebrations. He gets so animated. He pumps Come the on, fist man. real quick. Stop. And then it's almost like What's he remembers. I need to focus. <laughs> 99 yards in a minute and 44 seconds. Methodical, RG. Wow, that was amazing. Now here you are. You're Taylor Robinson, a.k.a. Spot Me, please. You're down two possessions to one of the best players in the world, if not the best player, the number one seed. 
Let's look at it one, one more time. Touchdown. Corner That's round to Thomas. Look at that. Look at that. And then he's like, you know what? I got to go back and focus again. First and 10. Ball to 31. Must score drive for Spotney. Playmakers up the field. Reed. Wide open. It's Johnson at the 40. What a read by Spotney. Skimbo went up to go guard. The, he first started the slant route. Went to go guard the wheel. Spotney playmakers the slant up to the middle of the field. Throws a crispy dot. Get himself into Skimbo territory. McNabb rolling right on first down. Throws it up. I need Dangerous Eubanks. pass. I need Eubanks there. Mm. Eubanks gets that done. Look at him. He's still thinking of adjustments. With the hoodie, I'm start calling him Skim Belichick. <laughs> call bench. Call bench. He's, Skim's saying call bench, call bench. And if we look at the play art, Scott, he's running bench. He's reading them like a book. Brings the player inside, though, instead of yes. going to the sideline. So Antonio Gates, nice audible. He did come out on the bench, but he sent Antonio Gates on an end route. Yeah, he hot routed him. For those that are new to Madden, you could change your receiver's routes at the line of scrimmage by using the hot route mechanic. That was a good hot route by Spot Me Please, because Skim was ready for the default bench play. Switched it up on him. Second and eight. We're under four minutes to go in semifinal number one. Yeah, this clock is not Spot Me's friend. He needs to go and get himself a touchdown on this drive. The field goal doesn't help either. If the glory and the recognition doesn't get you pumped, what is this game? 35 grand? Yeah, maybe 35K. Well, <laughs> 35 racks on the line here with 3.39 to go. And tonight. 100,000 to the winner. 9 p.m. Eastern. I'm in the wrong business, Coltrane. You don't watch us live, you better DVR. RG will know. McNabb trying to get away from the spy, and he'll throw it away. Uh-oh. Here is fourth in the game. Uh-oh. We've already seen Mike Skim hold the door once. Is he going to get Grizzly again? He was thinking about taking off with McNabb, but Joey Bosa was on the spy. There it is, Coltrane. Biggest play of the game thus far. Skimbo could really wrap it up right now with this one. Put a ton of pressure on Spotney. He will go to the air and... He dropped it! He dropped it. I think it was going to depend on the spot anyway. I think he was short again. But dropped the football. Oh. First and ten for Skimbo. Look at it again, RG. Mitch, does Skimbo click on? And, nah, that's he would have had the first down. That was just Mark Barron being a savage. He did catch it over the line and then dropped the football. And here comes Skim Belichick right now. He's just going to manage this clock right now, Coltrane, like we saw a problem do yesterday. You got to expect this play clock to get won all the way down in this situation. He must be Belichick of the Browns. He has zero championships. Whew. The shade is real for my dude Coltrane. He Come might shut you up by the end of the day. I hope you don't he does. Be careful. I hope he does. Second and five. He won't be saying, where are you at, RG? Say, where are you at, Coltrane? <laughs> Come over here and punch me in the gut. It's okay. I'm built to absorb something like that. First and ten. Big first down, too. Skimbo's going to run this play clock right now. He's going to get this down to under 30 seconds, which is going to mean after this play, he's going to be able to run another run play, get it to the two-minute warning. Then Spotney's going to have to start using those timeouts. Needs a hit stick fumble here. Spot me, please. And he'll lay down. And this is where I use a timeout, and he will. And that's funny. You're saying Spot me needs a hit stick fumble. I couldn't <laughs> agree with you more. And I don't think Skimbo... Uh, no. I think Skimbo agreed with you as well as you saw him go down with Ricky Williams right away. It's a glorified knee. Look, and he'll lay down again. That's so smart. That is so smart if you skim. Don't get greedy. You know he needs a hit stick fumble, and you know what? I'm not going to give you a chance to get it because he's not worried about the first down here. All he's worried about is getting these timeouts and getting that clock moving. Boom. And he'll take the loss of seven yards, so it's. 
Fourth and 14. And spot me, please, is all over the clock management. He's going to let the two minute warning act as a timeout. He's going to keep one in his pocket. And what that did for Skimbo by running the ball, not getting greedy going for the first down, is he's now pretty much put spot in a situation where he's going to need an onside kick to win this game, unless something crazy happens. He's going to need a score. And right you are. A little bit of Madden magic. The onside kick. Here's Dion. Angles it to the sideline. Here's Dion. has got some room. Oh. And Brian Dawkins. Weapon X with a tackle. Like the Wolverine. And you saw the animation that Dawkins played after that tackle. Got up, pumped his fist. And with good reason, that was a big tackle. Primetime almost on his horse right there. First and ten. Play action. There's a block shed. Spotlight. Oh, Take a sack. look at this return. I think he should have gone back a little bit with Dion right here. Look at he tried to. Yeah, he tried to dip. And if you don't know how to make a tackle like that, it's by pressing the A button and, and the Mike Skim. There he is. That'll He's going to go to his second straight championship game of this Madden Championship Series. And he's going to have a chance to get over the hump, Coltrane. That's been plaguing him all season long. And if there's a championship you want to win, it's this final one. It's this big one. Skimbo becoming a Madden legend. What an oh, animal. Oh, man. Let's go. Spot me, please. Didn't turn the ball over five times the whole tournament. But here in the semifinals, he's going to come up short. And let's remember, both of these guys were undefeated coming out of group so far in this tournament. Yep. So that's Spot Me's first loss, and that's going to be a tough one. That's a tough pill to swallow. I know it's cliche, though. If you're Spot Me, though, you got to keep your head up. You're one of the best competitors there is. You still walked away with $70,000, even though you have a full time job and a family. I mean, hats off to Taylor Robertson. 70 racks. Came out of the toughest group in this championship. Beat Monster Wild Duke. Beat Young Kiv in an instant classic. But Skimbo has been really tough in the second halves. And the drive for the championship is still alive for Mike Skimbo. So he's going to need a miracle down 14. A quick score and an onside. McNabb. He'll get out of bounds, so that'll stop the clock. 15 seconds to go. Look at Spot Me not giving up, still running out of bounds for McNabb, trying to save the clock. Sure. Sending the receivers deep. Even when the game's over, he's still leaving it all out there on the field. I respect it. So a guy that had an up and down year, won the Madden Classic, and then Joey Bosa with a DDT. Look at this. See the handshake between these two. These are two world-class competitors. They're two of the classiest guys. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hopefully you can win one, right? Yeah. Well, that's what everyone's wondering. Can Skimbo finally win a championship? He punched his ticket. He's going to wait for the winner of Problem and Joke. And it was tied 14-14 at half. Skimbo. Scores 14 unanswered, shuts out. Spot me, please, in the second half. Yeah, he was able to get those turnovers that we talked about. He held the door phenomenally on fourth down, but you see him right after the game just focused on the big one. He's happy, but he still has work to do. And if you think he's going to be sitting around celebrating between now and the finals, you're wrong. He is going to be preparing. He is all business, Skim Belichick. He's picked everyone off 13 picks now. Let's go down to the field with Drea. Thanks so much, Scott. Skim, congratulations. Impressive performance on both sides of the ball. You really stepped up your game in the second half. What did you think of the job you were able to do? Uh, I thought I could have done better at the end of the first half. I threw that stupid pick, and I got stopped as soon as he went nickel because I thought he was going to be in dollar the whole game. Mm -hmm. And so after I saw he was going to do that, I knew what to do. So just in the second half, I didn't make any dumb mistakes. Well, you're in the finals now. I know we've been talking about it, championship or bust. What's going to be different this time, and how do you get over that hump? 
I don't know. I think I'm just going to try to enjoy it. Yeah. I'm going to be stressed on my mind, but I always stress. Like, that game, I always stress. But I don't know. I think I'm just going to enjoy the moment more because it might not happen a lot for, you know. Right. I mean, I hope it does, but you never know what can happen. So I'm just going to enjoy the moment more this time. Right, because you're still one of the most elite players in the world now. And we're going to have some downtime before the finals. What are you going to do? How are you going to spend that time? I don't know. I might go to the hotel and chill there. I know I'm going to watch this game closely, and whoever wins, I think i got three hours, so I'm going to watch as much game of them in those three hours as I can. All right, Scam, well, best of luck. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Dave and the gang. Thank you.